I get asked a lot whether or not I preemptively deworm my chickens on a regular basis. The answer to that question is not really. I have never used a synthetic dewormer on my flock in a preventative way, but there are some natural things I do for my flock to keep their immunity up and to keep their parasite load down. So I wanna talk about that, and I also wanna give you some natural options if you do want to preemptively deworm your flock, but naturally. Hello friends, welcome to Chickenlandia. My name is Dahlia, I'm a backyard chicken educator, also known as the president of Chickenlandia. Raising chickens has been the best way for me to find peace and joy in my life, and I wanna help you find that too. My chickens are being so loud, and this is the only shady spot I have. Come on, people, or chickens. You wanna say hi to everybody, Pickles? Pickles is doing great. I have another little baby chicken that I'm gonna share with you guys soon. She's not like a total baby, she's like a teenage chicken, and she's kind of whining in the background, so if you hear her, She's okay. <laughs> she just wants my attention. All right, I'm gonna put you right here. I have said this a lot on my channel, in my online course, in my book. Any flock, a healthy flock, if you were to look on every chicken's body within that flock, maybe you had like x-ray vision and you could look inside their bodies, you are going to find a parasitic presence within that flock. It is just natural. I mean, your chickens, if they're living a healthy life, they live outside. They're getting a lot of exposure to their natural environment and parasites are in their natural environment. So if there is some parasitic presence, that doesn't mean that your flock is not healthy. It just means that they're living outside in nature and that they have a natural life and that's okay. The problem arises when there is an imbalance somewhere. And because of that imbalance, maybe one of your chickens, maybe more than one of your chickens has a, a parasitic overload and they have an infestation. That is a problem. So what I mean when I say that if there's an infestation going on, it means that there's an imbalance of some sort going on. I'm talking about their conditions is not that great. Maybe the coop is too soiled. Maybe they're living in mud. <laughs> okay, got a little chicken here being really loud, <laughs> but I haven't shown you this chicken yet. So I'm waiting because it's a surprise. So you have to subscribe. <laughs> Some other things that I would consider an imbalance is if your chickens are really stressed out and that could be that there's bullying going on in the flock. Maybe you have too many roosters in the flock. When there's an imbalance going on somehow, your chickens' immune systems are gonna be compromised. When their immune systems are compromised, they're more likely to get sick, obviously. When they're sick, they're a lot more likely to get a parasite infestation and vice versa. So if a chicken has some parasites, they're more likely to get sick. So it's just kind of this cycle that you can get into. But one thing for sure is if there is an infestation, that is, it's like a message to you that there's some type of imbalance going on and you need to handle it. So what are some natural things that you can do to make sure that your chickens have a balanced life and they don't fall prey to something like a parasite infestation? Well, number one is you want your chickens to have good nutrition. This of course would include a chicken feed. Just get the best quality chicken feed that you can afford. I of course like to feed scratch and peck to my chickens. I also like to ferment it, but right now I can't because I have a duck that isn't doing very well with the fermented food. She just doesn't clean her face very well. So I had to put them on pellets and that's okay. I'm doing the best I can. You're doing the best you can. That is all we can do. I am someone who really believes in giving chickens healthy kitchen scraps. I like to do it in a balanced way. I have a whole video where I talk about it. I will leave that video in the show notes so that you can check it out, but don't go check it out yet because I have more to share with you. Definitely, definitely you want to make sure that your chickens have enough space. Right now I'm in my chicken coop. I have a huge chicken coop. I've got a lot of chickens. You don't need to have a huge coop, but you just need to make sure that your chickens aren't overcrowded. Also, my coop is 
not that clean right now you know it's like between cleanings but it's not super soiled so that's the other thing is you want to make sure that your husbandry practices are good you know just revisit it every once in a while ask yourself am i doing everything i can it doesn't have to be perfect but you don't want your chickens to be living in conditions where they are stressed out because it's so dirty and they are vulnerable to disease and of course parasite infestation okay so now that we've talked about these foundational things we can talk about some supplements that you can use these are not only anti-parasitic things but also they will help to keep your chickens immunity up which is going to help so much So there's four supplements I want to talk to you about. In my course, I call these the <laughs> But um, I don't want to get a cease and desist, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should cut that part out. Anyway, these are four really good supplements. You can use them from the time you have baby chicks through your chicken's adult life. The first one, of course, is apple cider vinegar. So for apple cider vinegar, it's gonna be one teaspoon per quart of water. And like I said, that's from baby chicks to adulthood. Apple cider vinegar has immune boosting properties. It has beneficial bacteria in it. And it also will help to keep your waters clean, which is always good to keep your chickens healthy. Apple cider vinegar has also been shown to help to prevent coccidiosis. And coccidiosis is a very common chicken disease. It affects baby chicks the most, but it can be something that can honestly get to your flock at any time, especially if you're bringing in new chickens from other locations. That's a really good reason to add it into all the things that you're doing to prevent illness and parasite infestation in your flock. The second supplement I want to mention is garlic. And of course we know garlic is so good for our chickens. This is another thing that we can give to them from the time that they're baby chicks. I usually wait until they're about a week or two old before I start with it through adulthood. And the dosage for that is a fourth of a clove per quart of water. If you don't want to put it in their water, you can mince it up and add it into a tree. You can put it in like some scrambled eggs or some other treat that your chickens like. You can mix it in with their feed. I recommend doing that about three times a week. It's just another thing that not only has anti-parasitic properties, but it's going to boost your chicken's immune system and help to support them all around. Not only does garlic have anti-parasitic properties, and there's another word, <laughs> That means antiparasitic. That is a more scientific word and I can't pronounce it. That's why I'm not saying it because I tried many times. I can't pronounce anti-helmic, anti-helmic, and uh, whatever. Anyway, garlic is also antimicrobial, antifungal. It's just anti so many things that we don't want our chickens to have. Definitely a good thing for your flock. Okay, let's talk about two herbs that I really love for chickens. The first one is oregano, and the second one is thyme. Both of these herbs have antiparasitic properties. They have antiviral properties. They have antimicrobial properties. <laughs> they are really good for your chickens, and you can give it to them. Like when they're baby chicks and they come to you, you can sprinkle dried herbs around their brooder. You can throw in like fresh herbs for them to play around with in their brooder. And you can give this to them as they grow into adults and through their whole lives. These herbs are gonna be good for their digestion. It's gonna help build immunity. And also there is some thought, especially with time, that it will help to keep rodents away. And we know that keeping rodents away is just another thing that you can do to help keep that parasite load down. So everything that I've mentioned so far is really about keeping the immunity up with your flock, building resilience with your flock, and making sure that they have everything that they need so that they don't go out of balance and end up with a parasite infestation. But what if you have a situation where you would just feel more comfortable if there was something that you could do periodically to actively deworm your flock, but you don't wanna go with something synthetic? Now there are two products that I have used before. I really like these products. I am not sponsored by either one of these companies, but I do think that they are good. I think they get the job done. So I want to share those with you. The 
first product I want to tell you about is a very gentle product and it is sold specifically for the prevention of internal parasites in chickens. This product is called Verm X. This is from the UK. It used to be kind of hard to get it in the United States. Like the shipping was really expensive. I think that's changed. I know it's on Amazon right now. I will leave a link for you in the description. Hopefully it's a little bit easier to get. It looks like it's it comes a lot quicker than it used to. Anyway, I have used this product before and I really like it. It's just a nice gentle product and it is made specifically for the prevention of internal parasites. The second product that I have used is actually a two-part program from a company called Molly's Herbals. And this is something that you can use if you know that your chickens have an active internal parasite infestation, but you really just don't want to go with something synthetic, then you could consider using a product like this. On the website, it says that it may aid to expel and kill live worms and help to build a stronger immune system, be a coat enhancer, and may also also work as a parasite preventative and you can hear how careful she's being with that wording that's because you know in the natural world you have to be real careful with the claims that you make but I will tell you the herbs that both of these products contain I know that they are antiparasitic in Molly's herbals it does have wormwood and wormwood it's a pretty strong herb it's not something that you would want to use on your chickens all the time like every day that would not be good for them but since this is like a program that you would put them on you would use that I think it's every six weeks and then there's one that you use once weekly and that's a more gentle formula these are the two products that I really like I will put these links in the description for you like I said I'm not sponsored by these companies but I believe in them and I want you to have some natural options to consider that's why I want to share this information all of that being said there is something that I need to say and that is if you do think that your chickens have an active parasite infestation, really your best course of action would be to work with a licensed veterinarian and find out exactly what you're dealing with so that you can move forward with that information. I mean, even if you wanted to use a synthetic dewormer, you would want to know what type of parasite you're dealing with because not every herb, not every synthetic dewormer is going to work on every single parasite. So it's important for you to know what you're dealing with. At the very least, I would encourage you if you can, you know, I always say if not everybody can see a vet, I understand that we just do the best we can. If you can get some testing done so you know what you're dealing with. Okay, we talked about internal parasites. <laughs> I think we should probably talk about external parasites. But who wants to talk about that? The creepy crawlies. I'm talking about mites. I'm talking about lice. I'm even talking about ticks. I have a whole playlist about external parasites and how to deal with them. Don't freak out. Just, just figure out how to deal with them and then we're going to get through it. That playlist is on the screen right now. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens education and entertainment. And I know you're going to love it.